Hello and welcome to Audrey's Adventures in Realty. I'm Audrey Stefanko with National Realty Centers and I have started this YouTube channel to share with you all the adventures in the real estate market of Southeast Michigan. First thing that we're going to do on this YouTube channel is share with you our experience. Um, my husband and I are renovating my family's cottage on Russell Island and Brad and I are going to share with you our highs and lows, um, our befores and afters of this renovation project that is happening uh, right now, <laughs> summer 2021. And we're remodeling from foundation to ceiling in the main level. We're excited to do that. So thanks for joining us. The property on Russell Island that my family owns was purchased um, back around 1920 by my great great aunt and uncle Hugo and Laura Morrell. It was my dad's mom's aunt and her husband and they uh, built on the property sometime between 1926 and 1927. And they built the cottage, so the cottage is nearly 100 years old. Um, and they stayed there as a family cottage for about 40 years until um, my great great aunt Laura decided uh, to move to San Francisco when she was about 80 years old. Her children had retired out there and she wanted to be near them and so she could no longer um, take care of the family cottage anymore and she knew that her niece Audrey my grandmother and her husband Barney my grandfather loved the place so she sold it to them at a family discount and um, my father and his two brothers grew up going there and their children me and my uh, cousins up there around 1974 when my grandfather was almost 60 years old he retired from Ford and him and my grandmother Audrey lived on the island at the cottage year-round which is um, kind of unheard of there's only been a handful of people that have done it because it gets a little rough in the winter time and um, being on an island and all and um, about 10 years after they um, started living there year-round my grandmother Audrey passed away in 1985 just a year before I was born and he remarried to my grandma Joan and um, then he passed away on May 16th 1996 and the cottage was um, then passed down to my father at that point um, and so yeah about 25 years ago my dad did some upgrades and some renovations um, but that was 25 years ago and he didn't dive as deep as uh, we are going to all new plumbing all new electrical um, fixing um, the foundation and, and leveling everything out the reason that we are doing this um, is because of all this history um, we don't want to let, to let it go. I have two sisters um, and a nephew, Oliver, who is seven, just turned seven, and I have an eight-year-old stepson, Brady, who is eight years old. And we want to continue to pass on this legacy of the cottage at Russell Island. There's just no other place like it. And um, we want Brady and Oliver to be able to have these childhood memories and to even pass them on to their kids and hopefully their kids and so we are renovating this cottage so that it will last another hundred years and so that everything is done right and our children won't really have to do anything major because we're taking care of it for them i was baptized as a baby on this island I learned how to play many card games and dominoes with my friends and my family on this island. Um, the other islanders here do become like family. You grow up with them. You have this similar experience that um, a lot of other people don't. Um, this experience of coming to the island which can 
um, be a pain in the butt. Some people call it lug island because you got to lug your stuff over and you got to lug it back and there's no cars um, allowed on the island. So um, logistics can be tricky, but it's also the reason why you love the island. You, the isolation um, just it's only an hour's drive from Detroit, but um, you feel like you're up north and you're just disconnected. And that is really hard to do, you know, in 2021 to, to disconnect. So just the relief as soon as you step off the ferry and on to island time um, is something that I just can't explain, but I want to pass on. That is why we are doing this cottage renovation to create more memories for our family and our friends and just have this awesome gathering place that is safe and um, a, a good use of, of space because um, when it is rainy there's not much to do when it's rainy or cold on the island so um, you want a good space to gather in and um, there's only a beach and a bar. That's what I tell people. Um, they ask what's on the island. They say other cottages and a beach and a bar. Our beach is more of a park, but it has, um, you know, a swimming platform and high dive and diving board and slide and fun stuff. And then we have a little bar, which is, I think, smaller than maybe all the cottages there there are about 126 cottages on the island and the bar is open thursday through sunday um and that's where you can find your friends <laughs> on the friday and saturday nights for sure and get the kids some ice cream old timers call it the pop stand um so there's just you know local little hangout places. It's a great community to be a part of and I'm excited to share more about it with you. Our slice of paradise on Russell Island on the St. Clair River in Clay Township, Michigan. So step one of this renovation was to clean out the shed in the back so that we can use that as storage and clean out the whole main level of the cottage um, because we're redoing it all. Um, we gotta take out all the flooring. We gotta take out all the ceiling. We gotta take out the walls. And um, so that was a huge task in itself. Uh, everything went by the side of the road to see if somebody else wanted it. Got burned in the fire, possibly stuffed underneath the bed upstairs or put on the front porch. Um, the front porch is the only thing we're not touching right now so that my dad is somewhere to sleep in a little uh, makeshift kitchen with a hot plate and a microwave. This is our temporary kitchen here. Right next to my dad's temporary bedroom slash storage area on the front porch. This is going to be our storage area this lovely shed we cleaned out still has some last minute items to dispose of a lot of random stuff in there current laundry room and shed my dad cuts grass for the property owners here in the summer so that's his money maker right there so after everything is cleaned out, then it is time to demo. So demo, demo, demo. Lots of garbage. Um, taking out ceiling, taking out walls, taking out floors. Um, the kitchen had multiple layers of flooring. I think it was five. Um, I know there was a few uh, layers of laminate tile. There was carpet. I know the ceilings in the living room had a uh, drop ceiling. And then we thought it was uh, panel, pa another like paneling for ceiling, but it was actually drywall with wallpaper on it that looked like paneling. 
then the walls were paneling and behind the paneling was more paneling so it was just um there was a lot of layers and a lot of demoing to do so um i'll show you a little look at that here on this episode and um some interesting finds along the way so today we're taking out this old drop ceiling and in the dining area there's also panel ceiling from like the 60s um, that's supposed to go on your walls so we've got an extra layer of ceiling in here to remove this is all open back Whoa. here we haven't found any more mice thank god you uh friends have been living in there <laughs> Ooh. this is what number six Four. Four? Four or five. That's just in the ceiling. And he's not even wearing a hat. Well, at least he put glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. Today we had a very sweaty day. It, it was a hot day in May in the 80s, and we took out all the ceiling tiles. We were really hoping that this was going to be like that all the way down so we could leave this chimney exposed so that was disappointing today and the microwave was broke so we don't have really anything to cook on right now uh, but it's like camping we shall survive back in the day there used to be an oil heater Kind of like where this fridge is right now and we had clearly a spill ruining these nice oak floors that would have been nice to finish uh, this is uh, the sub flooring here which is actually kind of nice and then we've got this like 19 well would have been 1927 we found out that this was built framing and floor joists which are in luckily good shape and straight as an arrow. Well they say what can go wrong will go wrong and I brought the camera to film today and the battery's dead and I left the extra battery on the charger at home. So I'm using the phone today. Let's uh, show you some finds. We opened up these walls in the kitchen, the sheetrock or the drywall had the manufacture date here, which is April 1st, 1927. No joke. We've got a foundation guy coming out this week. Of course, the one day that uh, we're not going to be here, so I won't be able to get any of that on film. But um, the reason he's coming is because this flooring I'll show you in a minute, it has a four inch uh, difference slant on our back porch here. From this plug to this wall right here is two inches, and then we've got another two inches all the way to that door past Brad there. <laughs> so there's a lesson to be learned today. When you order stuff online from Home Depot and you go to pick it up, double check that they gave you everything that was in your order especially when you're doing construction on an island and you have to go across to get to Home Depot and the closest Home Depot is 30 minutes away. So my dad went to go pick up some Home Depot supplies for us that we ordered online. Uh, they gave him his order and he came all the way back and stuff was missing. When I called, um, they admitted that they just didn't give him everything. So he's gotta take his boat back over, get in his car, drive 30 minutes, just to get there to grab it. But um, lucky for us, he's gonna get us some dinner too. So silver lining, I guess. The water here gets pumped uh, straight out of the river. So obviously there is um, some chemicals and it actually tested positive for E. coli. So you don't wanna be drinking that. Normally we would lug our um, water over from the mainland 
buy jugs of water. Um, we have a bunch of jugs of water here now, but we won't have to do that uh, after we get this nice um, system put in. So that's pretty exciting. That's probably the biggest lifestyle change that's gonna happen during this renovation. So we're all pretty excited about it. What we got going on here is a new reverse osmosis system. So we're getting the plumbing down there. Gotta get everything out of the way so that we can work on the electrical next. That should prove to be challenging work. But this will be nice because now we can drink the water. Look at this hot mess in the kitchen. Literally a hot mess. Eek! This stairway used to come down to this nail here and luckily we were able to open it up so the taller people don't have to hit their heads going up these uh, steep stairs here. In this hallway here to the bedroom was this wallpaper behind the paneling. Actually kind of cute. Very cottagey. I wonder if we'll find it anywhere else. We found some weights that would be in these channels within inside the wall there for the old original wood doors because they were so heavy you needed this uh, counterweight to get them open and close. They were in the living room as well. We're in the, um, the bedroom right now. Thank you for watching Audrey's Adventures in Realty, Cottage Makeover Edition. If you liked what you saw here, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next episode.